Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Wizard of Legend. I've been away for a while with health issues and all sorts of things, but now I can do a quick video here, so let's hop on in there. I'm going to do an air run this time. We're going to do our air basic and an air signature, or an air standard I haven't worked with before, and an air signature that we've seen come up, but I haven't actually used. I was always afraid to use it. And you know what? It seems okay. Uh, this gust dash is kind of fun. It actually pulls enemies behind you, and you can use it twice. It stores up two charges. Using our standard red robe here, the one that gets upgraded after you buy all the other robes. It's got a little bit of bonus health, a little bit of run speed. Some damage and some crit chance or something like that. It's the offensively oriented one. Oh, and of course, uh, since it's an air run, we're doing Rudra's Pinwheel to increase air damage by, I believe, 12%. So we'll see how it goes. I've done a little bit with it. I was never able to finish a run because stuff just kept coming up. It's a busy-ass life I got right now. Whoa! Okay, there. Coming on a little strong here, huh? Maybe we have, like, a little warm-up? Okay, let's get you guys in here. So that, that move is actually pretty good. The... I never remember what it's called, Spiraling Typhoon or something. The thing about it is that it does do a lot of damage. You just have to be careful because if there's anyone that's not in the Typhoon, they're just free to whack you. And if you uh, dash away or move, then the Typhoon ends. So to get the full value, you have to... What the heck? My standard move couldn't even kill a tree. Couldn't even kill a tree! Unbelievable. Um, yeah, you have to make sure that you are either very careful or you're willing to miss out on some of the damage of the spell. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so there's the marble, which makes it so that uh, when you charge up your signature, it doesn't decline. I prefer the rocket. I think most people do. These, when you die, you respawn, but you lose all your spells except for your basic dash and signature. This is the relic rewards card, which is not bad, especially in the first floor if you don't like any of the relics to make future relics cheaper. And then we got the mirror shield, which... Is that the one that puts up a shield? And it'll reflect one projectile, then respawn after a short time. Oh boy. Oh shoot. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Ah, I got hit by something. God darn it. This is... A kind of room that I think is a little difficult. Well, to be fair, I might have... Wanted to use my standard because this thing you can just shoot out. I should have probably done that sooner. Anyway, I only took 10 damage. It's not the end of the world. See there, I got all the guys in, so it's fine, and I just killed him in one swoop. We got to deal with the devil here. Okay, so we got double trouble and broken plague flask. I forget what they do, but I don't like them. And then oh, I should really look it up. Okay, fine, fine. I'll look up the. Damn relics. Okay, I will take the Anchor of Burden, though, because I like this one. It reduces your movement speed for each cursed relic, but it increases your damage. So I consider that a basically free damage upgrade, since it doesn't... Um, well, okay, so my, my run speed is basically now approximately default. So it basically takes a 5% penalty on my run speed, and I had, I think, a 5% bonus to the run speed. I don't know how it calculates that. Hang on. That's one of my favorite things with the gust dash, is to pull the guy behind me. Do you guys just not see me over here? Wait, can I... Wait, whoa, hold on. I just moved my mouse. And it moved. I did not know you could do that. Hold on. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I just took there and... What the... What was... <laughs> can I have a moment of just awe without getting beaten up. I mean, it's not much. It's really not that cool. I should. I, it, it wasn't worth the, like the 50 damage that I just took, but man, that was so cool. Oh, shoot. Ooh, I canceled its projectiles. Nice. Oh, yeah, then I did nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. Can I just hit you like this? Oh, you're gonna come for me. Ooh! Saw that lance in time. Saw it. I gotta pull a lance on me. Call me George of the Lansing Tribe. That was a dead end. I could see it in the map. It was clearly a dead end. Anyway, was I saying something before that uh, moment? Right, the run speed. Oh, those the guys did not die. Okay, they, they, they just... Uh, um, yeah, uh, so run speed. Um, you know, if you know your percents, like if you have like a hundred... And you increase it by, let's say, 5%, you know, then it goes to 105, but then if you decrease it by 5%, then 
then 5% of 105 is slightly bigger than 5% of 100, so you actually end up being a little bit below 100, potentially. Just depending on... Oh, Jesus. Buttermilk pancake. Christ, I gotta... I gotta... I can't play defensively. I can't play defensively. I have to charge forward. Yes! I took no damage. Watch me take a damage on the last guy. You know, I think a better example would be like 50. Like, if you take 100 and increase it by 50%, you're up to 150, yeah? But then if you subtract 150 by 50%, it's a whopping 75, so then you're down to 75. But these are pretty minor things, because, you know... Are you going to throw a boulder at me? Are you going to be a bitch? You are? I knew it! Oh! Oh, God, those boulders hurt! That was 50 damage! 50! 50 damage! Can you believe it? Oh, my God, that's a lot of damage. Sometimes Gust Dash can be a little bit of a problem. Because it will pull enemies behind you. And if they're not going into a pit... Oh, well, my signature is wasted. It's not the most impressive signature anyways. Okay, I can actually enhance my air spinner, which is worth it. Um, Mentis Imperium, I think, I believe it's technically an air spell, but it doesn't, doesn't do air damage, so. Alright, we'll get this. That means I'm forfeiting my Relic Rewards card, but I do like the enhanced version of this, which uh, throws two discs at the same time. Okay, I am last to find the boss. With only 10% to go. I guess it's in this little area here. Oh no, there's actually several different areas. Are you over here? Nope, that was just, uh... Way around the funky. Oh, it's not over there either. Jeez. This is going to be one of the longer runs I've had without finding the. or one of the larger percentage completions without finding the boss. I could still end up, up at a pretty good health total here. Notwithstanding that 50% boulder and the 50 damage that I took for just being in awe and not paying attention to my surroundings. If I kill the boss without taking any damage and get those orbs afterwards possible this won't be a terrible run did i really never go down here i guess i never went down here and there's the boss the, it's the last place you look huh okay i don't know why i did that i should have not done that this thing's on a long ass cooldown it's not even that good of a spell why is it such a long cooldown well whatever oh crash knight that's a tough one see i dragged that guy behind me now you do do a little bit of damage or reno but i'm very concerned this is a i mean i think the signature move in general is just a very dangerous one to use against bosses because you're kind of just a sitting duck. So my goal is to Franklin down those guys with just my standard. And then when I, uh, my, my very slowly recharging standard, and then, oh Jesus, oh God. Okay, so I was hoping to stun him. That sometimes happens. There we go. And then when he's stunned, I can just go hog wild. And maybe even pull off a signature maneuver. Okay, wow, that was cool. What? Oh my god. Oh Jesus, this guy just will not get stunned. Just will not. Will not. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh wow, that was a disaster. That was a freaking. Did I just get really lucky though? Wow, I got. Well, I hate this. I hate this thing so much. But it is an air spell, so, huh? And you know what? I should really probably buy the health potion and get 40% of my health back, but I'm gonna be wildly optimistic. So we'll buy the health potion on this next floor. And, um, God, that was the worst I've ever done fighting a level one boss in a long time. I mean, just, it was so bad. So, so bad. Okay, I should just be able to. Unbelievable! Oh, wow, just two guys got damage through on me. Oh, uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, I can see you. I see you. <laughs> oh, wow, that was great. I love myself. You gotta just sometimes stare in the mirror and say, I love myself. I love... Oh, I have this move. I guess I, I, guess I maybe should have used that. And I just totally forgot I had it. I maybe should have used that in that first room that gave me so much trouble. Okay, well, now I definitely wish I'd bought the previous health potion. Because some games you get to the point where you're just like, I'm buying every health potion, and, and that that's it. But what were they what were they doing up there? They were breaking barrels for me. You guys breaking my barrels? I hope I still get the go Oh, okay. Alright, here we go. Boom! I hate that spell. Yeah, uh, it's Oh! Come on! I was using my signature and he got me with a lance. At least there was a health orb in the chest, but I'd rather 
not taking damage and taking a health orb. You know, that's just me. I'm feeling frisky. Let's just do this. Whatever. It can't go any worse than last time. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh man. This, this would be the greatest run if I actually die on the floor 1-2 boss. Burst Mage, historically, is a gentleman I have had some struggles with. Would you guys just die? Uh, come on. Oh, you're still not dead. Okay. Here we go. Eh, it was alright. I think, did I actually take some damage, too, while I was doing that? Okay, 83. So, yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're gonna have to buy the health potion. And had I bought the previous floor's health potion, it definitely wouldn't have been a waste. So now it's like... Well, I'm gonna get 75 health. I will do this very carefully. Very careful. It's just... Oh, God, you know... It's a seven... It's a seven second cooldown! Seven seconds for this crap. That seven sec. I don't know, man. I don't. I guess I'm just not an airman, you know. There's different kinds of men. You got your your butt men, your legs men, uh, your airman. I'm just not an airman. Oh. Ooh, look at those pro dodges. Ooh, you yeah, almost got hit that time. Okay, get up, your boys. Have some of Mama's milkshake. There we go. Is this gonna be a challenge room? It is. All right. Ugh. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Nah, that's good. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that seven-second cooldown spell. Look at how much it did. Putting in work. Workaholic Rex over here. I shouldn't even be complaining. I mean, I got very lucky. I'm doing an air run and I got a free air arcana. That's fairly improbable, especially when you consider the fact that you know, because you start with Air Arcana, uh, you're less likely to find it. Because, you know, the, the ones that you started with cannot show up in the pool, which is, I guess, a minute probability, but it's still something. It's not totally zero. Oh, hey, my Gustash broke the shield. Cool. Oh, look at that. Broke that one. This is the challenge room. Eh, in the pit, in the pit, in the pit. Yeah. In the pit, in the pit, in the pit. Yeah! Okay. okay, doing those rooms pretty well. Looking for the- Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I dashed into a pit! Oh, that was a tricky one! Oh no! Oh god! Hey, you know what? That that searing chain really saved me there, my Q, because it's sort of instant. Let me push up. I might have otherwise had one of those Papa Boris is famous getting swarmed by the easiest guys in the game and dying specials. They are looking for the relic store. Hold up. There's a heart there? I did not know that. All right, what the hell did we got going on? We got, uh, this is terrible. It slows you down a lot. Golden Armor of Envy. I never take it. Uh, but this is the one where all store items are increased by 50% except for the healing potion. Well, it does give you a lot of armor, though. And then we have another chance for a Broken Plague Flask. Well, I never did look at what it did, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take it. Ah, uh, yes. It lowers my health by 20% and enemies as well. Well, I could do it. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Just I'll just take it just so I can say that I took it once. So my health was never ever gonna get up above 420 anyways. So I might as well just chop it off the top. Oh yeah, I would not have seen that if it wasn't on the map. And uh, yeah, get, get my enemies a little bit of a 20% health penalty. I don't know if that applies to council members and bosses as well. If it does, then I suppose it was a mistake to fight the boss when I did. Not only because it almost killed me, but because had I waited... Eh? Oh, look at that seven second cooldown. Wow, well, those guys just jumped into a pit and gave me a bunch of money, so I guess I can't complain about that. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Are you the one making these things? Yeah, I guess you were. Jerk. Okay, oh, we got the Arcana. Hmm, I do like Scales of Babylon. It's a pretty decent one. All right, Wait, it's air, right? Let me just, just double check, you know, here. I just typed a Blask into it. 
<laughs> Blask, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's air. All right, sweet dickity ding dongs. Let's get this enhanced thing. Where the hell is the relic store? Have I seriously not found the relic store? Where is it? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. It's over here. Gotta go up from here. I do like this one. Let's see. Watch, watch. Boom. Oh, I was hoping to get all three. It does have like an eight second cooldown, but at least it's actually good, unlike some other standard arcana I could mention. Okay, so here, that's tough because I do like Yuffie's shawl for bonus armor. Um, and I can't get it if I get the healing potion. All right, let's live on the edge. It's just, just feeling so frisky today. We are gonna get 75 health here. Now let's do a little bit of math. 420 blaze it. Oh, I'm typing this into the into the cheat sheet instead of into my calculator. 420 blaze it times 40% is 168 health. So I could be at 188 plus 168. I could be at 356. But I'm not gonna take any damage this fight. So like. It would end up being wasteful. Oh, right, I forgot that. My seven second cooldown spell cannot hit a tree. Won't get past a freaking. Oh, I got through that tree. Well, how do I get through those trees just fine? Anyway, let's go ahead and fight this boss. Take zero damage in the process. Okay, Earthlord Atlas, show me what show, show me your moves. One. Two. Okay, dodge the drill. Three. Mm, boom. Shagalaga. One. Oh no! Oh, I dodged into it! <laughs> it was gonna miss, but I dodged into it! Oh my god! Oh, I gotta run though, because he's doing his thing. He doesn't he doesn't care. Oh wow. And here's okay, so you go up, then over. Oh wow, those always last a little bit longer. Expect. All right, no, that wasn't too bad of a performance. I just ended up dodging into a drill for no reason and dodging into a rock for no reason. Okay, we got Rippling Rupture, or no, it's not a Rippling Rupture, it's an Embracing Vines. This is actually, I mean, it looks very similar to Rippling Rupture. I suppose it goes out differently. Well, I'm not Earth, so not in this run, so let's go ahead and just uh, pass a Reno Tino on that one. So on this floor, I should really buy a health potion. I mean, I think it was partially justified to get Yuffie's shawl because it increases armor. So it's sort of like I'm buying health in advance with that. But uh, yeah, not really sure that was not. It was pro you could make an argument for it, but I think it was still stupid. All right, I'm gonna jump up here, be aggressive, and then jump over. Oh, fall off the pit and die. I probably should have dodged back to the first one instead of trying to dodge the... Really, would you slip off the edge there, buddy? All right, so I just lost like 50 health, slipping off of pits. Okay, what is this? Is this where the invisible guys are? These invisible guys, if they really... You know what? I used to be embarrassed about the fact that these invisible guys keep getting me in these rooms, but they really blend in. I mean, it's like freaking camouflage over here. All right, uh, what do we got going on? We got healing potion, dagger. I did not know Midas had so many freaking artifacts. What's the dagger? Increases damage by 0.04% of gold up to a maximum. Of, well, I'm not gonna be holding my gold. I'm gonna be buying healing potions. Journal of Midas is fun. If you kill five enemies without taking damage in a row, you get an extra 20 gold. This is just increasing crit chance. I mean, I'd rather just have the increased crit chance, I think, than the increased gold. A good rule of thumb is, if there's a relic you want to buy, you're better off just buying that than buying the gold relic. Ooh, the Ducta. So this would heal me, and there's a one in four chance it would give away these vines I don't care about. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I'm not that attached to any of my spells. And I took the vines, nice. Okay, so this is the critical placebos. It makes you believe all your attacks are resulting in critical hits. It does not trigger things that are based on a crit. Um, but it does, in, in, in actuality, increase your critical hit chance by 12%. Now, the monocle increases crit chance by 8%. So I basically got something for free that's better than the monocle that I could have bought. And, I mean, that's not to say that I shouldn't get the monocle. It's the monocle is still good. But, um, oh shoot, these guys teleport now. I forgot that. 
for a sec of Reno. Uh, but there are some diminishing returns there, which might tilt the scales in favor of buying the Journal of Midas, for example. Okay, what do we got here? We got lightning, water. Oh, I don't know what the spell is. I should check it out sometime. Fire and lightning. Fire, lightning, everything frightening. All right, so nothing doing there. I don't have the gold to get the healing potion or the Journal of Midas yet. Oh, that was like all three special rooms in this one little path. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. How about we slide off the uh, the ledge like 50 times and then die? That'd be a, that'd be a great video. Thanks, Wizard of Legend. Okay, you sir can die. Oh, that lot of stony McMuffins. Um, nah. Q? How about Q? Oh, no, didn't work. My signature's back, though, because it's not on a seven-second freaking cooldown! Seven seconds, honestly. Is it... How am I going to do it? Is it really seven seconds? It's seven seconds! I can't believe it. That's just the crappiest spell to ever have a second-second cooldown. Oh, jeez, I forgot! Oh, God, I forgot these jerk wagons. Wing nuts. Shoot across wall garbage. Cheating. Baloney, man! Oh, come on! How many times did the baloney man come to your house? What the? Oh, there was another one! Oh, man, I thought I dodged it and got a health orb to boot, but I missed the return of the baloney man part three, starring Will Ferrell. He's always in those movies, like, get daddy. Daddy's home. Oh, I don't know if he's in both of them. I think one of those is Mark Wahlberg. Or maybe Will Ferrell's the, the straight player in one of them. Anyway, the point is, I'm going to jump up here, scale the Babylon, into the pit. Oh, yes. Oh, and these guys are stranded. Eat my seven-second dick, assholes. Oh, no. So, uh, yeah, that actually works. Wait, can I get them with my signature? Look at that great signature, but no. Scales of Babylon works. I'm not even going to walk over there. There's no need. There's just no need. What about What about this? Oh, that actually, that actually reaches them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm always tempted, just like, to, to just jump over. Well, they're not coming at me, bro, anymore, so I guess I have to get my, let me get my game on here. Go play. You know, hey, now you're an all-star, that sort of thing. Is this the challenge room, or is it just those wizards? Oh, God, the return of the baloney man. Okay, I have an orb. Let's see if I can just actually keep the health positive here. There's my seven seconds. Oh! Yes! Yes! I'm health positive for that room. Is this the start? That's the start. Okay, so the boss has to be down here this way. Oh, that's going to be a challenge room. Okay, I'm ready for it. I'm mentally prepared. There's going to be a bunch of melee guys. No, no, nothing, nothing that I said happened, happened. Okay, well, that's fine. Dead, dead, dead. All right, we got Stony McMuffin over here. Ooh, I can just kill like that. Ooh, am I gonna get health? I believe I did. 268. Oh, that was the guy who got... Oh, no! Oh, my God. I am maze. Oh wow, he frost breathed me into the freaking pit. Well, I, I I'm done amazing myself. Oh Jesus! Oh God! No, I'm just getting hit by everything now. Every oh wow, I actually got another health orb, and I still got hit by Frosty Mc, McDumbo over there. Back to 128. Okay, so we will probably need to buy the health potion. Let's just go ahead and spend my cash. Definitely gonna get this. Um, so I can, yeah, the problem with this is that it's really great if you don't take damage, but if you get hit, it robs you of your gold. You gotta kill five consecutive enemies without taking any damage. Now, let's just buff my crit chance. So now I have a 20% increased crit chance. And we'll fight the counter rogue. Oof, almost got hit. Seven seconds. Oh, nice, nice. Nice. Love how I did that. Can you please just die? Mr. Rogue. Okay, stunned. Ooh, he, my signature is up. Oh, he did not. No. See, the problem is you can't hit him and quit him with your signature. Even when it's fully charged. 
Maybe I guess what you have to do is wait to mm, stun them with a different move. And then drop your deuce on them. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ooh, that was very close. I think I almost took damage there. All right, well, we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. I have 100 gold. Uh, let me just make sure... Right, there was nothing air-related over here. And... I guess I might have been able to get the journal, depending on how that all went. But... Okay. Let's move along, then. Oh, you know what one mistake I did make is, though? I didn't even realize this. So I took the broken flask, but that actually further lowered my movement speed because I have the Anchor of Burden, which which decreases my movement speed for five by 5% 5 for each cursed relic. Although, I guess since I didn't really pay attention or notice when it happened, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, what we got? We got Lightning. Oh, Light Chalk Agent, I love you, but you're Lightning. That's Earth. And that's a fire dash. Nothing of interest. Seven seconds. Seven second majesty. Um, on the overpriced plan. Now, let's just go this way. I guess I am a little slower than usual, though I do wish I just hadn't noticed it. Oh, 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 I can push you off right away. Yeah, nope, 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 I'm just using my base because I'm panicking, but I think it's okay because it surrounds me. Aha, now you. Signature. Nope, I was gonna get hit. Push you in the pit? Nope, that did nothing. Okay, that's sort of okay. Alright, up to 332. I might even get up to my cap and regret that I had the broken plague flask at this rate, he said, and everybody laughed because they knew it would never happen. Ba -ba oh no. Stony Mc that, that, that wasn't Stony McMuffin, though. That was like the protege of Stony McMuffin. He's not the typical guy who holds the stone. He just did a move that looked very similar. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen it before. Okay, there's, a, there's the cursed room over there, which, you know, would lower my movement speed another 5%. Let's see if anything is worth taking here. Alchemist Stone is a good one! Oh my god, I'm gonna be so slow. But every Chaos Gem turns into gold. I mean, it's just free gold. It, I just gotta do it. I don't care about the Chaos Gems anymore. Oh, I'm feeling it now. I am slow as molasses. If that's still an expression anyone uses. I mean, I, I guess you could say that since I have the scales of Blask, that I can sort of make up for it. Because I can... Ooh! An health orb and a pillar of ice. This is why, kids, you gotta break things, especially if you're bad at this game. I missed, but he missed. And then they missed. And then see, my, my, my basic hitting behind me is actually very good there, because I might have otherwise taken some damage on that one. Oh, but good thing I used a 7 second cooldown to do that. Yeah, the guy was totally behind me and ready to whack me, but my air spinner enhanced hit him right away. I'm feeling frisky! Who we got? Burst Mage! No! My nemesis! You've already owned me! Why are you coming back to humiliate me further? It makes no sense! Eek. All right, I need to kill the helpers. Uh, can I use my signature? On nobody and take a bit of damage as well. Okay, so it's just you. Seven second cooldown. Oh, I think I, I, think I might have gotten hit by all five projectiles. It was quite incredible. Right, can the signature just kill him, please? All right, it did. So I took some damage there. Got two health or Ooh, what is this? Raspberry cook'em box. So that makes it allegedly more likely that you find health orbs. Well, I, I, I sort of doubt how effective it really is, but on the other hand, it's one of those things that's hard to measure. I, I kind of wish that the game did it differently, like uh, increases health restored buy each health orb what the i wanted those barrels because then like the player you, you could get the same total like average health bonus you know 
So from a game design standpoint, it would be the same, but it would be more pleasing to players because if like each health orb gave, let's say, 30 health instead of 25, I could actually appreciate that. Is this a trap room? I was just gonna say that blob seems... Oh, I thought I was in a different place than I was. So I think I took a hit on that one, unfortunately. Fortunate Latado. Right, let's go ahead and use my super amazing barrel making skills. Oh god, that always you know just die. I'm just gonna Oh, you were already dead. Cool. Yeah. That's what my seven second cooldown spell does. It uh breaks barrels. Eek! And there. All right, that was good. Ah, uh, man, my, my strategy backfired. I'm like, well, I suck at this game, but I never take Cursed Relic, so I'm just gonna take the Anchor of Burden every single time. Oh, time to take three relics. Okay, so far so good. Well, I'm really not gonna have a lot of Chaos Gems. I'm only gonna have 132, which is like four things now, I think. Okay, finally we're here. What do we got? Secret wild card. All these new ones look so cool, but a lot of them aren't that good. Signature charge is 25% slower, decays 50% faster, but can now be used twice on a single charge. Ah, whatever. Uh, and then this is a good one. It lowers signature charge rate, but reduces cooldowns. Dice of the Nemesis. No idea what that is. At the 2% chance of dealing 300 bonus damage with your critical hits? Wait a minute, that's... That's good. Because I do have a bunch of bonus... I have like 20% higher crit chance. Spice rack. Ooh. Let's get spicy. Using an arcana of a different element reduces the cooldown of the previously used... Oh god, that's too complicated. Plus I have the same element. I'm gonna get this. This is good, I think. And I'll get the pocket watch because... Wait, if I get this, I don't get the health potion. Ah, eh, whatever. This is worth it. I don't really, really value my signature, even though it does charge sometimes. It's just not very good, especially not against bosses. And, um, cooldowns are very good. This is 20% cooldown reduction, which is nice. So now when I use this, it's only five seconds. You know, it's kind of a big um, deal. All right, let's go onwards. Oh, it's already the boss time. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm facing Ice Lady second. I feel like when she's third, it's just the worst. There's 75 health. And let's go at it. Uh, that 15% that speed reduction I got could be a problem against these bosses when it comes time to dodge. Okay. One. Two. Buggering, buggering Dales. Three and four. One, two, three. I'm just gonna take that hit. It's hard to dodge, and I don't think it's really worth it. Oh my, I got her with my signature, even though. Oh no, 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 oh no, oh no, oh my god, oh Jesus, oh god darn it, that was horrid. That's the problem. Is okay, I actually did a lot of damage to her. But I couldn't dodge because I was so slow. All right, there's a water basic. So let's move on. All right, I mean, I'm going to have to buy the health potion on this floor. He said for the fifth time, having not done it previously four of the times. Uh, but yeah, I really do need to get a health potion now because I just got wrecked on that boss fight. Man, if I could have just freaking dodged... Oh my god, that was bad. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! Alright. The spell that formerly known as seven seconds. Alright, you know what, F it, whatever, I don't care. We're doing it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. We're gonna be really awesome, or it's gonna not be able to finish that sentence. Well, thanks for watching, everybody! I hope you enjoyed that shit show on parade. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Bubble barrage. No idea what that does. Arc sphere. Okay. Don't like firewall. 
Flame Fusion. Ooh. Okay, I think that's all the fancy spells. Hunter's Stiletto. I do not know any of these. Okay, Dated Sunglasses. Enemy projectiles move 30% slower. Whoa! Okay. Ancient Fountain Pen. Charge center charge card is increased by 2% each time. Oh, for fuck's sake, whatever. Absorption Coil. Adds 100% of damage taken to your signature charge bar. Oh, that's, uh, well, let's see if you take dam- I don't know, I don't want to take damage. And Hunter's still- oh, a Hunter. 12% damage bonus against any enemy with one or more status effect. Oh, God, I don't know. All right, well, we'll just get the most expensive one. And for the next one, I guess I will set it up here. Let's just pick something new, some new standard. What we get here? Flame fusion, fire by fireball, fire by flaming arrow that can be fused to release it. Okay, well, that's complicated. God, these things get so complicated here. All right. Oh, that's all right, fine. Sounds good. Um, I guess we'll just choose a signature then, so I'm, I've had enough of air here. Have I ever done one with Terra Ring? I don't. Oh, I've definitely not done one with with, with Glacial Cross. Let's do a, let's do a little bit of fire and ice action here. So we'll do a nice Glacial Cross and Flame Fusion. Okay. Um, I suppose I'll pick. Just some random thing for the dash, and we'll just do something a little different for the basic. Let's go for, let's go for some variety. But I'm not gonna use the captain's ring. I've already done a run with that. Let's um, I guess I like this idea. Projectiles move slower. Let's just play with that for funsies. And for my robe, let's go ahead and grab the other standard one, but the one that's a bit more defensive, since I will. I don't know. I don't think there's any synergy here. I'm just taking it. And, okay, that's what it's going to be. I'll see you guys again soon.